Hello and welcome. I'd like to introduce you to this year's success stories, at least on digital marketing, those businesses we've been lucky enough to work with throughout the year. Here are some of them that are floating by you on the uh, screen. There are a number of them that would book through the online system and then others that would call and I would book for them. So if there are some names that you won't see here, they will see some of them multiple times. These are the kind of things we tried doing together, whether it was their e-commerce, whether it was their branding, their strategy, whether it was their uh, logos, whether it was getting them on Google, so if they get found, so many wonderful things. So let's start. This is the back end of Wix, which is the system I use. Here's one of the first ones, BR Roofing. Uh, he's one of the um, most recent ones that we did, and uh, he's a uh, young man that uh, now has taken off on his own, Richard Riley, to do his roofing in a certain area. So on his website, we have photos that he has provided and videos that they have taken on different social media platforms that we've used as content. We have the locations that he's uh, being able to provide his services. We have the keywords all through his website. His website is now live, so I encourage you to come and find it. And uh, yeah, I'm really thrilled. We also created for him a Google listing. So the Google listing, obviously there are other companies out there that have similar names in different locations, but the more Google reviews he gets, the more he's going to be found in his area of service. So please go in and find him and give him a Google review, give him a five rating. He's been putting up some uh, real cool updates on his Google listing, which are free. And this is something that we are going to have another um, uh, workshop in February to share with folks that have created their websites together, what they can do to get it to the next level in the area of getting found on the website and on Google like we have here, whether it's in the areas of reviews, responding to the reviews, whether it's in the area of actually knowing how to get more reviews, or whether it's in the area of Q&As. Q&As are critical. AI and Google use the Google, re Google listings questions and answers first. So if you can put the questions you think your clients are asking on your Google re listing, that's perfect. But let's go see Nikita Creations now. She is a, a very talented young woman. Uh, I got to meet her and her, oh, and I got to meet uh, Richard also at the Business Summit. I got to meet Nikita at the Business Summit. She's very talented, creating ribbon skirts, fairy skirts, and uh, beadwork. Um, her mom was there to support her at the uh, actual event that we were at. And here are some of the uh, one-of-a-kind items that she sells. So she sells them one-of-a-kind. Now they're all online. She knows how to add them online herself. We've put up testimonials. And of course, I always say that the entrepreneur needs to indicate what they're all about with a photo of themselves. And we created the Google, uh, sorry, the uh, logo for her as well. So this logo, we put it in different sizes so she could use it on Facebook and on Instagram and on the and as labels on her clothes. So she's physically printing them so that there'll be labels on her clothes. So we have them longer, we have them square, we have them in different shapes so she can use them everywhere. So her branding's been redone, her website is done, and uh, her um, and people can buy by getting in touch with her. So everyone has a different workflow requirement, so we meet their needs. Oh, who should we go see? Need? Feel your soul shine. So this young woman, Dakota, is very uh, particular. She already had her logo done. So then we started creating her website with what she wanted for her reflexology. And then she decided, you know what? We want it a little bit different. So now we're currently in the mix of redoing her website. And here is the one that's still under construction, but it might be done by the time you actually see this video. And it's, I think, cleaner and it has cleaner lines, directions to her new location. It's very exciting that she's now has a location. This is her proudly at her location. So it's updated with the new photos of her, um, of where she now practices. We're very excited about that. And we have now the same fonts and the same colors uh, all through the all through the website. And um, we have a book now also. Of course, Meet Dakota, I always say, like you know, you've got to put in there who you are so people know it's an authentic site. Uh, and that the book now is something that she had from before. So we integrated into her site where people can go and now book 
right from her website, uh, a consultation or a um, actual appointment with her, and they can now uh, book with her as far as so, uh, the staff where she's located, and it's all integrated beautifully. So I'm excited for her and stay tuned for her live site. Where shall we go next? Next, we're going to go look at, drum roll please, Suzy Q Designs. Now she has not launched it yet. Uh, so she's a very recent person we've been working with. It's very talented uh, um, vlogger and she has I think 70 vlogs that she's put out there. So now we're creating this portal of her website to all of the different services she offers her do-it-yourself videos online courses studio courses she does uh, she helps you and she does herself create very uh, exquisite custom cards so they're they're very beautiful and so we created the logo for her brand new logo um, and we started branding her with different sizes of logo that she could use on her Instagram on her Facebook she's still she is kind of the the um, she, she's the pro at this. So she has her face as the logo on Facebook, but her logo as the logo on Instagram. And then you'll see her YouTube channel. We customized that as well. So on YouTube, again, we've got herself because she's the pro. And then we have a new header for her. And we've actually put her a logo in transparent format. So it's seen on all of her videos. When she uploads it, it automatically shows up on her videos now. So I'm very happy for a very talented young woman. So stay tuned for her. Uh, to see her new site that you're just seeing there live. Uh, who shall we go to next? Drumroll, please. Oh, Judy's Store and Grill. So this one isn't live. They ended up uh, working with us and we created it for them. And then they got very busy through the summer. So I'm hoping they're going to circle back to us and we're going to be able to show you, uh, just go live. Uh, we'll probably update the food, food pictures. We'll update the menu, but her, um, uh, what she wanted on there is all finished and, um, and uh, we're ready to go. It is connected to her uh, Facebook and um, and I see she's using her Facebook uh, currently. So yeah, we're good to go. Um, looking forward to connecting with her and finishing it. Now, drum roll, please. Who's next? Okay, Omini oh, uh, Coffee and Cafe. Sorry. So when we started working with her, she just got possession of this location. She was just cleaning it up and getting it ready. So I'm very I'm thrilled for her. Congratulations. She wanted people to buy online her new coffee. So it's a coffee she has sourced that she's proud of. She can go online, buy the coffee, and she's figured out the shipping so people can get the uh, coffee sent to them. Uh, so that's very exciting. And uh, she's learned to go in and update uh, the website herself because I'm seeing the recommendations. Recommended uh, restaurant gurus was not there when we created the site, so I love seeing that. Our story—that's something that you need to put in there that has keywords, your name, and um, seeing some of the font may not be. Uh, I'd like that blue to be a uh, different font, the black. Anyways, use, uh, I'll talk to her about that. Again, we're going to have a, another session in February. We're going to talk to the business owners about how they show them, treat, uh, train them on how they can update their site themselves. A lot of them know how, some of them don't. And we've put on this gift card people can buy. It's that time of year. Gift cards here would be a fabulous if you'd like to go online and buy a gift card from her for your loved one for Christmas. I think that'd be awesome. And then we've got food and drink on here. They look beautiful from the ones we put on when we first launched. And I bet you that she has more that she'd want to add. Actually, some of these are her new ones. So good for you. So who should we go to next? Sacred Mugs. So Sacred Mugs Custom Creations is uh, one that went live not too long ago. She's done a lot of work on it herself afterwards. She's very talented. Um, she has many hats this woman wears. I really respect her. Uh, in her um, Sacred Muds organization, uh, she creates her own um, mugs, or you can actually come to her and also, if you're, uh, you can also get a custom design. So let's look at some of her original designs first. She has created these, many of them. Oh, this is actually uh, one of hers, but we can go, actually go in and 
purchase them. So she's online, ready to go with an online uh, e-commerce site, ready for Christmas. So I'm excited for her beautiful work. And that if you have a sacred person or saying you'd like to put on a mug or on a pillow that you want to hug or a, a, a chopping block board, she'll do that for you. So she has all sorts of ideas. And then you send her the picture or you give her a description of what you want and she'll do that for you, which is why she called it Sacred Mugs. And here she is, Leela George. If you're at the showcase, you would have met her and you would have met Sue and you would have met Richard as well. And we were all there together. It was lovely meeting them. And uh, she does uh, workshops, um, Leela George, and she had a great talk with us about what it was like to be a mom of nine and actually be an entrepreneur. And uh, she is so dedicated and so bright. Uh, it was uh, wonderful seeing her in, in human form. And I look forward to working with her some more. I hope she comes to the workshop in February um, as we'll take her sh um, website to the next level. But she also would share back, I know, with everyone. So this one is another one that we... Um, did we go live? We have gone live with this one. It's beautiful. And uh, you can see she had her logo already, uh, just like Sacred Mugs had their logo already. And what we did was, in both cases, create the website. And um, so this website uh, talks about, again, her keywords are on it. Her location is on it. So people can find her. Uh, long lash extensions and permanent extensions. You can book online. you got permanent makeup. And... Um, and so again, you can go book a consultation or you can book online and she's added some of these photos herself, I can see. So I'm thrilled to see that. So you click on book and you're able to book the exact time that you'd like to go in and meet her. So uh, I'm thrilled about this service for her. And uh, you can actually book with the human you're going to be with in case she starts hiring other people. You'll end up being able to see multiple people in there and book with the person you'd like. Um, so it's a really nice system we have for her. And again, she's able to go in and change it as she'd like. And she has some advice on here that she's put in herself. Uh, so again, we created the outline, try to train them in the time we have. And then they're busy entrepreneurs. So they've got to get back at it. So and um, there will be places on here that I notice that we can do some more work for search engine optimization. So that's something that I hope if she comes out in February, again, we'll do together. She's put in some stunning photos on her own. She's got, uh, she's done quite a bit. I'm really thrilled for her that this system has worked for her get her going. We've met a number of times with each individual entrepreneur, and then we're able to uh, see what it is that works for them. So everyone has different skill levels, right? And so some people will just want it really, and then each of the digital marketing platforms go back to the new website that we would have created or updated, uh, whether it was their Facebook, whether it's their social, their uh, Instagram, it's not, not many people aren't using TikTok yet. So she's in Concordon. Congratulations on your new site. So where will we go next? Let's see. Um, oh, and here we were looking for to see if she had a uh, Gmail account. So what we do is if someone doesn't have Gmail, sorry, uh, their Google listing. So what we do is we go into Google normally. I see, I see I'm in the wrong place here. I'm in uh, Bing, but I would go into Google. I would search for it. And if it doesn't come up or if it comes up, we have a couple different directions we can go into. So if it comes up, but it hasn't been claimed yet, um, then what we do is we go in and we claim it, which is something that really helps you drive Google to know what they need to know about you. So that's what we would do here next with with her is claim her uh, Google listing. Uh, so that's something that really helps them get found. And again, something we'll be reinforcing in February when we meet together. Where are we now? Oh, Michael, yes, we're at the um, aviation instructor, instruction uh, for students, for ch children. Um, and he also has a um, uh, something that you can purchase to actually uh, raise some money for the for the cause. So I'm really thrilled about that. So Michael Beachley, he also has photos that kind of show his credentials. Also, some of his past uh, work testimonials. I love the testimonials. They're from kids. You'll see what I mean here.
So I really love this. It comes together nicely. And the come fly with bike, basically, why would you fly with him? And then the about authenticity, who he is. So you can trust him with your kids, uh, a little bit about him, his credentials. Again, right under that, we have his testimonials. So I think you'd like that. There's one we worked together uh, a while ago, Brothers Wild. And I see the site isn't live now, so it's one I just wanted to share with you. They already had a Wix site. So what we did together was go in it and um, just we uh, fix some of the um, activity they wanted us to fix for them. We updated it and some of the SEO that I saw that I could help with. So I gave them some of the knowledge that I had. And um, so we need to touch base again and see, um, I guess you can see at the top, it says, create your site together, start now, which means it's just not live right now. So I'm not sure uh, what's going on, but I look forward to reaching out to them and finding out. And uh, very talented uh, musicians, uh, excellent work on their um, website and on their video player. So who should we go to next? Let's see, Red Willow. So Red Willow is a physical store uh, who has moved. So as we were creating this store, they were in one location and now they've moved. So we're going to regroup and uh, go live. And at that point, what we'll be able to do is uh, just update their outside location so people know where they are, update their address. And um, a lot of the uh, items that they sell are correct. So we've already put them in there. And then we'll be able to go live. So they're in Kettle Point. Uh, very, very, I, I love their store. I love the, um, all of the, uh, all of the products that they carry and um, their website and their logo and their social media all match beautifully. So that's one of the um, entrepreneurs that have, were busy moving as we were creating their site. So we're going to regroup when they're ready so we can uh, launch it. And now where are we? Now we're at uh, Yvonne. She has a cleaning uh, business that she and her daughter um, are the cleaners. I think she has other staff too, actually. And she is uh, someone that's uh, uh, been cleaning for over almost 20 years and uh, needed a website. So we created a, a cool little website for her. And uh, what I'm seeing here is a big gap. So I think I'll go in and edit it. So when you edit the, no, let's go find her. Where is she? When you edit the website, here she is. You just edit. This is what I train the uh, entrepreneurs to do as well. They have access just as I do to the website. And then um, it goes in, it's in the cloud. So we both have access to the same site and I train them how to go into Wix and update it. So in this case, I saw a big gap underneath the header. So I'm curious as to why it's there because she hired a photographer and these photos are gorgeous. So I want to see if those photos are still there in the back end. And if they are, then I'm going to have to do a little bit more digging to see why this browser didn't display it. Sometimes there have, I have to do certain things depending on the browser to the website. Yep, there it is. Beautiful photos. I loved her logo, as you can see. Uh, we superimposed it on some of the photos. It was already there by the photographer on some other ones. Um, so it really, and, and then what I'm able to do in this program is I'm able to see how it work, looks in mobile on a cell as well. So I'm able to right away create it on desktop and then modify it for a cell. So if I change something on a desktop, sometimes it leaves a gap on the cell version. So I have to go in and just check that out. And um, I think I'm seeing things look great. So um, I love it when uh, I'm able to go in and help them right away and just see what's happening for them. And as you can see at the bottom of most of these websites, I have which locations they actually provide services in. That helps Google understand where does this cleaning service provide ser services. It doesn't help at all if she gets you know, calls from BC, for example. So at the bottom, we indicate Sarnia, London, and all the other locations she's in so that she gets calls from the places she actually is in. We can change anything, go up and publish when we've changed it so it's live, live and ready to go. Um, 
So that's that's uh, one of the things that we're able to do. Your quest deals. So these are brother-in-laws that work together that are a riot. They already had their logo, so they wanted a stunning website. So I was able to, I think, create a stunning website for them. It's beautiful. Uh, they had some photos they provided. They didn't have welding. So I said, how about a welding video? People love welding videos. So they uh, have steel uh, structures that they've created. Just um, huge uh, work. And so the story we talk here, they talk about their story, uh, how they got together in their collective more than 50 years of uh, experience. And then um, their uh, services, the contact us. I love this uh, picture, a picture of each of them behind bars. Uh, these are doors for a store that they created. Uh, so that's really cool. And the eagle, there's a story behind that eagle. Uh, so that's really cool. And so you can see when I'm working with someone, when I first created, I'm the owner of the website. Then I add them as um editors and then when they're ready to go I make them the owner and I put myself as an editor and then they can kick me off when they want. So here's somebody whose family just reopened this uh, store, arts and crafts store. Each of them have uh, different skills and uh, talent that they bring to the store. Their family used to run this store. Uh, now they reopened it kind of in a different location but similar area. Uh, the grand opening was made 24th. So I think we got together on May 1st and we started working together really fast to launch the website. And uh, we'll get together again, uh, I think, to just show him how to update the site. But I see he's added some of the uh, photos. We made sure that People know how to get to the location. That was the big thing. So you can go right to his website on your cell phone or on your computer and click on directions and get to the website. Sorry, get to the actual location. So that was critical. Sweet Tree Cafe, Yolanda and Herb, uh, they are a fabulous couple that uh, opened this store. And um, they used to have a chip truck like there, as you can see, on this location. And then they built their new uh, the, their new actual shop. And since then, they've done quite a bit. You can see they have a loyalty program. They have a gift card. They have a, a loyalty card. They have this, what do you think about us? Uh, give them feedback right on the website. There's so much you can do. And Herb is the one that I worked with. And Yolanda would come in when he wanted to you know, collaborate. A little bit more, and um, and so we created this site at, again remotely on Zoom over multiple meetings, and uh, this is what came out. So they did their own photos. They had a photographer in. Others just had their own photos that they provided. In this case, photography was in. So one of the things I love about the Wix program is the ability to stream YouTube videos. If you go on and you listen to this video, it's spectacular. Um, they've got it professionally done. And uh, they have the, um, it also, uh, the words come up as what she is saying. So there's a lot of good things that they're doing on this uh, video. And there's a great reason to have it on your website. Google owns YouTube. So putting a Google product on your website helps Google know what you're about. And it also helps the person visiting your site know what you're about. And it also helps you. You can use that website on Google, on YouTube, on your website, on social media, on so many places, on emails if you choose. Here's their loyalty program that we that they created and we put the steps on their site. Uh, there are menus. What we thought was, well, menus might change a lot. So why don't we put on a PDF and they can always order now by clicking on it and getting back to the website. If they want to order a uh, something online, and I've seen a lot of people do, they'll send them a con they'll fill in a contact us form and say they need you know a, uh, a a an order of such and such ready for them to pick up. So one of the other things we did with um, Sweet Tree Cafe is we made sure that their Google listing, we created it from scratch uh, and they went on and they put in photos of their uh, Google uh, location from outside and we made sure we got a lot of uh reviews for it because that's how it helps you get found. So one of the things we'll do at the uh, this time that we're together in February is share with everyone is how important those Google reviews are to get, how to get them, and why it's important to respond to them. You want to reply to them because it helps Google know that you care and you'll get found and um, they'll bring you uh, to the top of the search results. So 
Another thing I'll be sharing with them is the insights on Google. They're free, the Google listing. And if you can see here, you could see that you can pick the time that you want to know. How did I do at this time? And it tells you how many searches you had each day on your actual Google listing and where people, um, how they found your listing and what they did. Was it from your, their cell phone? Was it from a desktop? And what did they search for? In this case, they searched for coffee shops near me. So I love the fact that they can have access to this and see what people do on this Google listing. In this case, they definitely use it the most to get directions to the cafe. Second most, they use it to click to their website. So it's fabulous information that any entrepreneur really should know they have because it's free and they can access it uh, online. So who should we go see next? Let's see. Um, Oh, the Bridal Path Equestrian. Uh, we started this one and then they moved their location. Then they got busy with the summer. So they uh, provided some fabulous photos of their summer camps and uh, boarding programs. So I'd like to reach out to them again after uh, now that the uh, summer is definitely finished and uh, hopefully their move has gone well and we'd be able to uh, complete their uh, their website, their Google listing, and maybe they'll come in February. That'll help them a lot to that workshop. Um, inspired by nature, very talented entrepreneur, uh, Heather, and she does um, some workshops, retreats, and services where she'll speak at your conference or offer a breakout section at your conference. Uh, she also does sessions with your family if you want to bring them closer together or your work uh, team if you want to work a team building exercise. It's uh, It really helps you express yourself through art, expressive art. Very talented herself. Um, and uh, so with her, she already had, she had her web, her Google, sorry, her uh, logo being created while we were creating her website. So we went in, we went through the ins and outs of Wix because she's very talented. She had already uh, had knowledge of many uh, online programs. So Wix was one that we went into detail with and showed her how to do many things on them. And now she's taken it to the next level. So as you can see, uh, there's a lot of different places in her website now. There's a lot of different things going on, but it's clean. It all matches her logo, her branding flows through. She has spent a lot of time going in and updating this website since we last met. So she's done a fabulous job. And um, so I, I really respect her. She also had her launch while we were meeting and I helped her with how she might launch, who to invite to the launch, where she might want to, and she, she created uh, signs to put outside on her street. So we looked at the signs, what signs to put outside, what signs to put inside, and uh, when to start letting people know about it. So it was a big, big undertaking. Congratulations with her new brand new studio. She did a lot there. Quillworks. So Quillworks, she does, um, she she uh, has these quills from porcupines that she works with. And then she creates into art. And the back of them are often um, what her back is, is uh, birch bark. So the birch bark, you can see we've put all through the website as the back of the website, just like it's of the back of the earrings and the beadwork, sorry, and the uh, quill work that she does. So we created the website and she's gone in herself, Chantel, very talented, and she's added different photos to it, different pr products. And uh, so she's done some really great work to it. Uh, as well. So I can see that there's some font I'm not able to really see on some of the different colored backgrounds. So we might talk again as to how we might change some of the color, color tra 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 uh, contrasts. Um, but I really enjoyed working with Chantel and I hope to uh, meet her again also. So let's show you a couple people did not want Wix websites, uh, but they wanted to make sure that their own uh, Google listing was found. So we went in, created the Google listing like we did here for Aurora Bar. And uh, there's a certain local area that she works in and she wanted to make sure. So I showed her how to get more Google listings. So that's something that she did about 17 weeks ago. She got all the Google listings. So I'd want to show her how to add 
questions and answers. I think I'd want to show her how to add updates. There's more things she can do on that to get found even more. Then Dash and Dazzle Mobile Design, I call her the nail lady. So she uh, is now um, doing quite well at senior homes, which is kind of cool. But when we met, she uh, just started again, figuring out what she's going to do. She's on the road. So we put together quite a few photos on here and uh, created, she had already an online booking system that uh, we took a little bit to the next level. You click on the booking system and you're able to add the appointment, pay online and pick your own time as to when would you like your uh, nails to um, happen. So and toenails, manicure and pedicure. And she also has a senior uh, discounts uh, and senior programs. So she's done quite a bit. Uh, she is uh, a very talented young woman, and uh, I was thrilled to help her out. And I'm here for you if you want to take it to, again, the next level uh, and have another website. But I think this one is doing just what she needs right now. Again, it's through Square. Uh, if she wanted to, she could use a Wibbly site. And then I got to meet with uh, Robin Blackbird. First thing he wanted to do was create a logo. So I created three choices of logos for him. Uh, we had more than three, but we narrowed it to three. Then he put it out there on his social media, which he has uh, an extensive social media already. And then they voted and they chose uh, for one of them. So we also, what we did was in his current website, we went in and he has a Wibbly website for many good reasons. He at, I created a long version of the logo so he could put it on up as a banner. So that was excellent. We went into his shop and we extended his shop, talked to him about search engine optimization, how it works on each one of his pro, pro, products and how he could make his products get found more. And of course, we made sure we he himself was on the website as the authentic uh talented artist that he is. I see something that we can fix there. So we did a lot of work on his website and on his logo. And I got to, uh, I, uh, he, we had a lot of interesting in-depth conversations about many things. Uh, and this is an example. So he uses Square when he goes to a powwow where he has his own booth. Often these are one of a kind. So if he sells one on Square there on location, it updates his website. Or if someone buys it on his website and he goes to the um, event, he now knows that it's sold. He has to put it away. So it's one system. That was critical in both our minds that we use one system. We don't duplicate efforts for him because that would have been a real uh, embarrassment. Oops, I told you. You were going to buy that, but you can't. Here is uh, one, c'est la vive, la vive. So she is a hair salonist. Uh, she just opened up. I was very proud of her in London, Ontario. As we were doing this, I created the logo for her. She had a very vivid, um, exact example of what she wanted. She then took that and, and made it into uh, different locations that uh, like she got the logo and now she's using it elsewhere and so she had photos that i was able to use of her of her uh, beautiful hair of what she is able to the beautiful you know gallery that we created was all her photos um for to create an appointment all she wanted people to do was email her through the website so that's what we've done you click on book now and you end up going to her, her um oh, contact us area, you fill out a form and it goes directly to her. I've been getting copied along the way because I'm still a uh, contributor, not a contributor, I'm still an editor on the website in case she ever needs help, she can just reach out. So at the beginning, I'd get one, I'd forward it, make sure she got it. So now I know she's getting it, which is awesome. I also see there was a big gap there. So this is all I do is I see a gap or something that's not right on the website. I just pop in quickly and I fix it. That's all it took. Just pulled that up. But knowing that i pulled that up, that means that on the mobile site, there's going to be a gap at the bottom. So I'm now going to go to the mobile site and take a peek uh, as to what it's going to look on the cell phone. And as I clear, scroll down, I guarantee you there's going to be a gap. So I'm going to have to fiddle with it, but I'll try pulling it up for now. There it is a little bit. And I see why it's not going up. It thinks there's two cells there. Anyway, so I'll go in later and fiddle with that. Sometimes Fiddling could be a very boring thing to watch. So I'll fix that for her later. But as you can see on the cell phone version, people can get directions there. They can make appointments just like you can on the uh, desktop version. And we made sure that the 
photos all fit. And there's another thing that most entrepreneurs don't realize they have in the back end of Wix. I showed you uh, here, for example, every time someone makes an appointment, their email is captured. So she can go in at any time and send all her clients a holiday special or something or a thank you or happy new year. So, or she could remind them, Hey, you had your color done, you know, three months ago, you're probably due. I'm making this up now, but it's nice because it actually becomes a, um, uh, a CRM, a customer relationship management tool for you too. So there's a lot of strength in the back end of the Wix system. We used it just to create the website. So the next step in February when we get together is to share with everyone how they can help their website get found more by the website itself and the Google listing and how to use your customer relationship management tool in the back end of your website um, because it's pretty powerful. You can actually put some uh, follow-up. If someone does email you, you can have the system automatically follow up with them. So you can do some really cool things. Another thing you can do is look at the traffic overview on the website itself. That's another thing that most entrepreneurs, I don't think realize they can do. And that's pretty exciting. I showed you, you can see that on your Google listing, but you can also see that on your website. So in the back end, this is her website on the back end on um, all the traffic that she's been getting to it. So I'm very pleased and, and proud of her with all the traffic she's getting to her website since she's launched. And it shows you how many people are new and returning. And it, then it also shows you if they've come to it by mobile, 85% through their cell phones. So that mobile version, checking that out, making sure it works after you create it on your uh, uh, desktop version is critical. It shows you where they're from, time of day, and how they have gotten to your site. In this case, it's been or organically from Google. I'm really happy to see that. So Google is finding her site. So that's everything. I hope um, that was useful. And thank you for letting me help your entrepreneurs. <laughs>